It's literally like sprinkling glitter on a turd right now. Hey everyone, me again. Welcome back to Eggs Amelia Eggs and another weekly vlog. <laughs> Um, it's actually 20 past 9 on Bank Holiday Monday. I haven't vlogged today. I wasn't going to vlog today, but then I thought I'd catch up with you guys and see how you are. Um, I've actually been working today. I shouldn't have been working because it's Bank Holiday, but I had nothing else on. So I filmed a video, which will be already live by the time you watch this. It's a competition video with the City Kitchen where you can win £600. £600 of um, Secret Escapes vouchers. So it's well worth entering. Um, go and check that video out and find find out how to enter. Um, I've been answering a few emails and stuff. Yeah, it's been it's been a nice day. It's been sort of a relaxed day, but a nice day, even though I've had some work on. I painted my nails. I don't know if you can see those. Is it going to focus? Oh, look. Yes, it focused. Got some little gels on them um with some sparkly studs and some chrome powder all from blue sky i don't know the name of the pink before anybody asks me i can't remember um but if you have a look on blue sky you can find all those things on there it's been a nice relaxing back holiday and it's still light outside can you believe it 20 past nine still light amazing i love this time of year i'm just chilling out watching safe on netflix if you can get over the fact that dexter has an english accent it's well worth watching i'm well and truly sucked in and that's about it. We've got a busy week ahead, so um, I'll probably leave it here and catch up with you guys tomorrow. But welcome back to the vlogs. Life as we know it resumes. <laughs> Morning guys, happy Tuesday. Um, so the vlog today was going to be very, very different to this. I'm supposed to be at the Hyatt Regency in Birmingham having a bloggers pool party with pedicures, afternoon tea. Then I was supposed to be meeting my friend Faye for a coffee at this really cool new coffee place. And then I was supposed to be seeing Stomp in the evening <laughs> at the Hippodrome. I've had to cancel everything because I'm so, so poorly. So last week I had a water infection that I had some antibiotics for and I started to feel a little bit better but then a couple of days after I come off my um, antibiotics I started to feel poorly again. I thought, oh, it should be okay. Um, and then this morning, oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's back with a vengeance. So I haven't been able to get in with my GP. I haven't even been able to get an emergency appointment. <clears throat> Absolute nightmare. So I called Push Doctor and um explain the situation obviously i've got dip tests that i do at home because i get them so frequently that i got from sweet cures um if anybody wants to know they're really, they're really useful to have at home if you use them sensibly so they gave me a whole week's worth of antibiotics because i had some really strong ones last week for three days they started to make me better but then i got worse again so their logic is they're obviously working but you just didn't have enough of them so whole week's worth of those yeah sucks it's not how i wanted the vlog to start but hey thank you very much vagina i'm determined not to let this beat me <laughs> this week even though i'm feeling gradually worse and worse so i need to go out and get my prescription um i think push doctor have sent it to an asta so i'm gonna go and pick up some snacks as well hello this little man needs to go out for a walk, um, which I really do not feel up to, but I'm hoping that the fresh air will help me. I've put a little bit of makeup on and put some curls in my hair, like it helps. It's literally like sprinkling glitter on a turd right now, um, but hey, we're going to try and get through. It's already robbed me of my nice little spa day and my trip to see Stomp, so it's not going to rob me of everything today. Not that I've got anything else going on, but there you go. <laughs> You have been a little joy while I've been poorly this last week. You've been so, so good. Oh, that's disgusting. Thank you. Thanks very much. You can have it back. Do you want it? I don't want it. No, thank you. <laughs> He's been so good. <coughs> oh, that was attractive. Sorry about that. Good morning, everybody. It's, um... Wednesday today. Thank you, yeah, Wednesday. Oh, i uh, feeling a little bit better actually. I think the antibiotics are kicking in, which is great. Still absolutely knackered. I can't believe it. I'm just, oh, I'm just, just dead. Um, so um, I'm just currently answering some emails, getting a video lined up for 
um, tomorrow, uh, which is really fun. The uh, ramen one where you can win 600 pounds of vouchers, very good. They like the video, so everything's great. Um, and I have a doctor's appointment at 2 p.m. today, so hopefully they can do some more tests for me um, and we can get to the bottom of why I keep getting these bloody water infections, even though I've already had my ultrasound. Everything's fine with the bladder and the kidneys. Um, they're probably just gonna say, you're just susceptible to them and that's just that but um you know we've got to keep trying with these things because it's really frustrating being ill all the time so i've just done a little food shop haul for you all my fridge is very very full now look at those vegetable drawers oh my goodness so much greenery i love it I always feel so much better when my fridge is full with the like green stuff that is wrapped that looks like it's not wrapped up there is just like half a pork pie sat staring at me which i feel like i want to eat um so yeah that will be going up on the channel at some point i probably won't upload it straight away because i've just done a similar one but um yes that will be coming your way you ask and you shall receive so I am off for my doctor's appointment now. I've put some makeup on, I've showered, I haven't washed my hair because it's tipping it down with rain outside, but I'm still gonna walk to my doctor's appointment because I'm just determined not to let this beat me, guys. We're just gonna power through. We're gonna get the old ex Amelia ex back, the one who wasn't phased by anything. She did often push herself a little bit too much, which probably made illnesses worse, but we'll go somewhere in between. <laughs> somewhere in between where is me, I'm ill and what is illness, I'm just gonna keep going anyway. Somewhere in between there. I do feel a lot bit better, so uh, the antibiotics are clearly working. I bought Lucy this present the other day. It's a cushion from Primark, and it's a ticket from London to Hogwarts, and I just thought it was really cute. And I saw it in Primark, and I thought she'd like it. So yeah, I'm gonna give that to her later to cheer her up, because she's not been very well this week. So, good news, I've just been for my doctor's appointment. Um, I actually saw a nurse, because I couldn't get in with a doctor, so they put me in with a practitioning nurse, and she was amazing, like genuinely. She really, really took me seriously. She was like, you shouldn't be getting this many water and and I'm like, I know, right? And she's and she said, look, we've done a uh, ultrasound scan, but there is more we can do. We can refer you to a urologist. We can um, do like a camera thing that goes up your bladder. Not doesn't sound nice, um, but she says it's ruled out quite a lot of stuff yes it's a very nice bone thank you it's ruled out quite a lot of stuff with the ultrasound but there is still more we can do um and i want to get you referred for that she was like she can't do it herself a doctor has to do it but basically she sent some tests off and when she calls me next week she's going to give me the results and then she's going to personally get me in with the doctor and get them to refer me to a urologist which is just amazing it's just unbelievable so i feel like i'm finally getting a little bit getting somewhere she took my temperature and stuff she was like yeah you've got a fever no wonder you feeling crap <laughs> um keep taking your antibiotics for a couple of days and then we should be good uh yeah <laughs> We're at the quiz, it's a film quiz this week and we're gonna win it, so stay tuned. Good morning everybody, happy Thursday. Looking and feeling pretty rough today. What is that on, is that a spot? I don't know what that is. Oh, I have my sleep mask on. <laughs> you can tell I haven't even looked in the mirror this morning. Um, so we won the quiz last night, obviously. Got a little bit tense though. Got a little bit tense in the middle. There's a round where um, people at the bottom, if nobody at the top, in the top three gets an answer right, people at the bottom or anybody else who gets the answer right and below the top three can shoot to the top no matter what score they're on so we were flying in the lead and this really random question came up and nobody knew it apart from one team who were right at the bottom so they took us over oh it was tense uh, but we managed to claw it back <laughs> i think they hate us there because we literally win all the time it's so funny anyway um so today i'm working on cruise content again um, I'm actually downloading a brand new piece of software to edit my videos on uh, that I've never used before um, but apparently it's really really good and I just feel like I want to up my game it's quite expensive um, but I haven't upload, upgraded my video editing software for about 2-3 years so I thought do you know what it's time to do it so yeah that's the plan for today is to download that and start learning how to use it so today's going to be a school day for me probably quite stressful i'll catch up with you in a bit 
So I am back on it with my juices and I've also ordered um, some protein powder so I can start making sure that I'm getting everything in my diet that I need to get and also because I'm going back to the gym and stuff and it's something that I used to do like ages ago when I was really really fit back in my 2013 year. <laughs> um, I was having protein shakes then. Um, and I just got out of the habit of it when I stopped exercising, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I always just felt really good and I felt really strong when I was having them. So I'm trying out some new protein powder because I can't have um, lactose or dairy. It's, it's really funny. Like I can have ice cream, I can have chocolate, I can have cheese. But still to this day, it was all from like years and years and years ago. I got really ill in Egypt. I'm sure I've told this story before. Um, and I had gastroenteritis that lasted over six weeks. It was horrendous and it was really quite dangerous at the time. And I couldn't have any dairy after that, but I was like, no, I'm not gonna have um, an intolerance. So I kind of like weaned myself back onto it over the space of about two years. Anyway, I can eat most things now, but for some reason, cow's milk still really, really affects me. So I just have soy or oat milk or almond milk or whatever. Um, so yeah, and I started to find that my protein powder was really affecting me as well, obviously because it's got like milk in it. So um, I switched to a soya, soya one and it was horrible at the time. So I'm trying a completely different one this time. It's from, one second, let me find out. It's from the Protein Works um, and it's like a chocolate flavored one. I think it's probably still gonna be a bit naff, but um, I thought I'd give it a go anyway. First outing of the Protein Works chocolate silk. <laughs> well, the flavour's not bad. It's actually really not bad. It's like not chocolatey artificially. It actually tastes like real chocolate, but it's got horrible texture, haven't they? It's a bit like wallpaper paste. God, I look terrible. Um, so Matt's a bit upset still about his operation, obviously. So uh, we've come outside, we're gonna hit some pads. I bought my, uh, my pads and my gloves out. We're gonna do some kickboxing. And uh, yeah, it's really nice weather. It's not too hot now. It's about, what time is it? Oh my God, it's like half eight. <laughs> it's half eight. So we're just gonna do a bit of a box size workout. Should probably be in resting, but I'm sick of being in resting. So let's just, just beat the illness out of me. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kid. mess that's good though it's still light as well what time bless you what time is it <coughs> bless you 9 36 it's still light red sky at night shepherd's delight red sky in the morning apple pie what is my favorite thing when your lip gets stuck on your teeth because you look so funny you are staring at that piece of cauliflower on my fork <laughs> Ooh, hypnotize the puppy. <laughs> morning everyone. I've had a nice and busy morning today. Um, I say nice, I'm not a morning person, I hate mornings. Um, but I've just uh, been to run a few errands for Lucy because uh, she's gone down to Bristol for uh, the day slash night. So helping her out with a few things. Got my smoothie on the go. Oh, that's separated nicely. Uh, apple, kale, ginger and lime this morning because uh, we're running out of stuff. <laughs> Running out of stuff already. I forgot how much um, how much vegetables and fruit and vegetables you need to buy if you're going to do these. But yeah, really enjoying being back on them. I'm going to try a protein shake today in like a smoothie with a banana because the taste actually nice. It's just the texture. So I'm thinking if I do it with some ice and a banana or like frozen banana um, and some soya milk or oat milk, it might be a bit better. And I'm going to still try and get to the gym. But first, I'm going to have this. And then I'm going to crack on with the last of my cruise vlogs. Um, and yeah, hopefully get everything I need to get done for the week finished today. It might be tight, but I think we can do it. And proof, I've washed up. I do do it occasionally. <laughs> Today 
I'm gonna try my protein powder in a smoothie. So I've got some, I've got a banana, I've got some of the Halo Top peanut butter cup ice cream, because again, that's like really low calories, but high in protein, which is good, so more protein, and some oat milk. Uh, we'll give it a go. I've been using one scoop per time, so trial and error. dinner tonight because we've been really good all week and both of us need a bit of a break <laughs> it's been a stressful day for me loads basically i did a load okay. of photos <laughs> yeah it hasn't been for you you're on half term basically i did a load of photos um for my cruise post and i was so so happy with them like really putting so much effort into all my edits that these days and then the stupid program that comes with my laptop resized them all so all of my portrait ones are like really really tiny and it's just, it's just really, really upset me because I spent hours editing all these photos. But I haven't fixed it, can't fix it. it. They're gone, can't get them back. However, I think there's a way that I can like structure them in the post so it won't look too bad. Anyway, so we're out for dinner tonight. The sun is shining, it's very, very warm. I'm rocking my brand new Primark trousers. Love these, I've got them in pink as well. You might have seen them on the Instagram. Um, but I spotted them in this like lovely bright orange color and I just thought, yeah, I'm gonna rock those with a very, very old white shirt. If anybody can tell me where to get a white shirt that's nice, that will fit over large bosoms, please let me know. I know that Marks and Spencers do like a fuller bust range for their shirts, but I cannot find them anywhere. Um, maybe they did them for a while and they've stopped doing them, I don't know, but I need a staple good white shirt, one with long sleeves, one with short. So uh, if anybody knows, do let me know. <laughs> And also, look at my awesome new sandals that Superdry sent me. They sent me a load of stuff for like the cruise and these came with them. I absolutely love them. They're so nice and they're really comfortable. You think you've got the dirt on the floor there. There is a lot of dirt <laughs> on your floor. Your car stinks as well, FYI. Lovely boy's car, but my sandals are cute. Good morning everybody, happy Saturday. So I've gone from the nice food of my meal out yesterday to protein shake. Um, a wheat grass juice thing <laughs> and a cup of tea, which is pretty miserable. However, today is very exciting because I'm going to Horcross Hall. Um, I believe that they are launching um, a new sort of section of their afternoon tea. I'm not 100% sure. I kind of got invited and they sort of said, we'll explain it to you when you get there. So I was like, is there going to be free cake? And they were like, yeah. I was like, is it going to be free tea? They were like, yeah. I was like, well, well I'm there then. I'm going with Ellie, um, who is a friend that I met on Bumble. So there you go, it does actually work. Uh, and then this evening, we're going to a gin tasting, which is very exciting. It's at the pottery, the pottery um, painting cafe that I always go to. And she's decided to start putting on some like new different events and stuff. And um, tonight it's the first one. And it's a gin tasting with like tapasy bits. Very excited for that, because I've never actually done a gin tasting. I've done a lot of gin tasting but I've never done a proper gin tasting. So um, yeah, very excited. So I need to jump in the shower, do something with my face. I am aching all over from that bloody boxing workout. Literally, I can, I can barely even do up my bra. <laughs> I can't move my arms, it's really bad. Uh, I was gonna go to the gym this morning, but had such a crappy night's sleep. I thought, nah, I'm gonna leave it. I might go tomorrow um, instead. Stretch the old legs or maybe take the dogs out when I get back from the... Um, eating cakey thing. Afternoon tea, that's what I'm looking for. Off we go for tea and cake. Are you excited? I am very excited. <laughs> Lely's first time at Horcrest Hall and it looks really pretty today, although it does look like it's about to dump it down with rain. I'm rocking my brand new dress. Oh, very boo big. Uh, my brand new dress from Joni Clothing. Absolutely love them. They've got like vintage style dresses. They're gorgeous and they fit so nicely. Definitely check them out. I'll leave a link down below if I remember. Future editing me, leave a link. Thanks. a mad hat as afternoon tea which is very very exciting this is our little menu and you can eat it have you eaten your menu yet i haven't eaten it yet no i just I, i've got a real thing about wet paper so these are like vile for me but it's very cute and apparently we have all of our savory stuff here with the nice view of the gardens and then we go through this magical door for all the sweet stuff I'm not 
actually sure how long it's going on for whether it's just a one day thing a one week thing I will find out and let you guys know um, but yeah if you can get down to Hogwarts Hall it's really really cute liked it and we've just been walking around the gardens we've got the roof open we've got the roof open on the little bug amazing <laughs> so now we're gonna go back and uh, have a couple of drinky poos in town Guns out, guns out. Yes! <laughs> so we've gone from afternoon tea to cocktail drinking in the sunshine to a gin tasting evening at Pretty Pots. Very exciting. One of the first people here, Kenny Kino, is ready for the gin. to go on a little picnic because the sun is shining it's like 23 degrees so we're gonna go and find some sandwiches and stuff haven't got a picnic basket there i really need to get one so i've got we'll grab a throw of a rug makeshift picnic makeshift picnic don't have any cutlery it's fine it's packaged sandwiches just you know cheapo picnic but it should be fun i got this top the other day from primark do you like it i like it a lot it was like 10 pounds wasn't it bargain tan the old shoulders oh picnic time this is the laziest picnic ever. <laughs> so we came down for a beer because it was too sunny to sit inside. Two beers, gin, later, on a bottle of wine. <laughs> Things escalate. Things did escalate quite quickly. You got to do it in this country because you don't know when this is going to end. It's not actually going to end for a while, is it? I think it's meant to be quite nice. Bit rainy, bit rainy. Forever. Forever. Probably should end it here. Let's end it here. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please do go and check out some of the other videos that I've been putting up this week. Um, we've got quite a lot on there. And also, I've got loads of content on the blog as well. Really kind of feel like I've caught the bug again this past couple of weeks. Um, and I hope it's showing in the content that I'm putting out for you. So, yeah, your support is always very much appreciated. And I shall see you next week. Got an interesting one. I'm gonna go see Titanic the Musical. Got a skin care conference with Sanex with Boots, which is amazing. Uh, what else have I got going on? What are we doing next week? Girls Night Out. Girls Night Out. Oh, definitely tune in next week. But thank you very much. Not, for I'm watching. not going, by the way. I'm not in the Girls <laughs> He's Night He's very out. sad about it as well. Um, uh, I am. <laughs> Jelly really is. Had a little cry earlier as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was inconsolable. <laughs> That's why I've had to buy the bottle of wine. Anyway, um, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.